Welcome again. So from some previous tutorials, we have some knowledge about CAC PHP. We also know how to install CAC PHP and also have knowledge about CAC back command. So now it is time to create a, a small project uh, that I'm going to create a simple uh, blog or you can say just a simple page and uh, I will make it dynamic using CAC PHP. So here you can see a simple design. There is a navigation in top and a jambutron, a left sidebar, a content section and a footer. I shared this design uh, below this video description. You can just go and download this. So we at first uh, what we will do, we just uh, we will just uh, change this HTML file into CAC PHP file. So for that, uh, I'm just going to create a simple blog controller. Then I will create a method. Then I will just convert it into CAC PHP uh, template. So this is the simple uh, HTML that I have I have created. Uh, I have used in here to create this template. This is just a navigation a jambutron then it's a simple left left sidebar and a content section and a footer so so let's create a controller first so for create a controller here we will create a controller manually we will not create it with using cagback so i'm just going to source folder and there is a folder called controller and i'm just going a, to create a new controller called blocks controller then after save if we just go in here i'm just opening my php tag and we will use here a name space and the name space will be app and then controller it's actually uh, when we will create a controller in this location uh, like uh, we have created uh, uh, products controller in previous tutorial and we've seen that they also have used a name, namespace and every namespace when you will create in here they are using this namespace called app controller that means this is the location for your all controller so now another thing that i have told that every class will be extend with app controller in CAC PHP because app controller called uh, parent controller so we have to just create a class called blocks controller then extends with app controller then curly braces and the save if we just go in our browser and after giving uh, this blocks that means controller name if we just reload the page we will we should see missing method in blocks controller that means it is actually searching index dot uh, sorry index method and there is no any index method so we have to create a method now so i'm not uh, creating index method i'm creating a home method public function home and then curly brace and i'm giving here exit and giving a message called hello so we should see hello now if we just uh, give the method name in here after block after hit on enter we should see hello so if we just uh, com comment it, then it will it will give us a missing template ex uh, exception. So we have to create a template. So where the template will be? So there is a folder called templates. We have to just go in here and just uh, need to create a folder called blocks. Then in this blocks, we have to create a file called home.php. So it is actually like PHP 4. They are using here .php extension. In previous like PHP 3, they have used CTP file. But here in CAC PHP 4, they are using .php file. So after create this home.php, if you just same thing, if I if I just do, if I just giving a simple echo in here, hello, then now we should also see hello again. We are seeing hello. But in this time, we are not only seeing hello, we also see this uh, CAC PHP logo and in here there is a two um, link we are also seeing in here. This uh, navigation actually we are seeing because CAC PHP here used a default layout. So if you go in your template folder and there is a folder called layout and if you go in here, 
there is a folder called file called default.php this default layout actually we have applied for our home method that's why we're seeing this uh, navigation if you just open the default.php you can see in line 45 and for 46 and 47 this is the link this is actually create they have created which actually we are seeing in here but we will create our own layout that means we will not use cat pitch with default layout so how can we create our own layout so at first i'm just going to index.html that means my html file i'm just going to copy a whole bunch of code from here and paste it in my home.php and after save if you just reload our page you will see same thing but in this time we are seeing our layout in here and below so we have to remove this and uh, so for that we have to create our own layout so for that uh, let's change our layout first so how we can change our layout so here i'm changing our layout for only for our uh, home method we are not changing our uh, layout for our all application or or all or, or method or all controller all controller we are just changing this layout only for this home home method so uh, in next tutorial or uh, in next tutorial we will see how we can change this layout globally that means for our all com all controller so now i'm just creating this layout only for this home con home method so to change the layout we have to use like this and there they has a method called uh, view builder and they have another method called set layout and in this set layout i am using now ajax because here they have given a uh, layout called ajax i am just using now but i soon i will change this but now uh, for test purpose i'm just using ajax, AJAX uh, layout so after save everything if we just go in here if we just reload our page you can see that exact view we are seeing in both pages. so we are now able to change the default layout so we will create our own layout for example i'm not uh, using the set layout ajax i will use here my uh, call block layout so after give here blog that means that my layout changes ajax to blog then if we reload this page you will see exception that missing layout we have to create a layout now and this layout name will be blog.php so where the layout will be created we have to create this in template and there is a folder called layout we have to just create here call uh, layer blog.php so and then we have just created this and after save this uh, then how our page will be look if we just reload our page we are seeing a empty page there is nothing because we didn't uh, anything in this block so what I'm going to do I'm just uh, giving here a PHP tag and echo hello so after save if we just reload the page we will see hello so now the question is how we will uh, see our uh, home.php file using this uh, blog.php so for that I'm just uh, removing everything I'm just going in ajax.php that means ajax layout and here you can see they have used a method called patch and that content so we will just copy this line and if you just uh, paste it in your blog.php layout then you should see output your uh, this uh, uh, home home page you should uh, see now in blog.php that we are seeing here let's actually fetch your content so now what we will do we will just uh, uh, copy some code from here or we will just uh, copy whole bunch of code here and replace it in here so after save uh, in here then in for navigation I'm just uh, minimize this code so this is actually my content section that I, I have used so from uh, from this content deep to this deep this section I will be removed here 
okay and this is the navigation this is the jambutron and this is the footer if you just see the output now it will be look like this the navigation the jambutron and the footer missing the content so now if we just uh, keep this content now in here so i'm just uh, copy this line again this fetch content and then paste it in here now in here this home.php i'm just removing everything like this and also navigation also jambutron because it's in our uh, default in our layout page and also i'm removing the footer so this is the content actual content that will be thrown in here so after save everything so now if we just go and reload our page now we should see the content in here so this content of um, portion actually came from this home.php and this top navigation this uh, jambutron and below this footer actually come from this our layout from our layout so so we have learned how to change default layout to our replace our and replace our own layout so we also can uh, minimize it uh, we also can uh, change, change a little bit in here for example I, I'm just want to remove my navigation here to another source like I'm creating a file call like we like in PHP we just used include so same thing I want to do in here I want to remove this navigation from here to another file then I'm just uh, include it in here so how can you do this I'm just uh, cut this line and going in my element folder so there is a folder called in template there is a folder called element i'm just opening this element and in here i'm creating a file called nav.php and then in this nav i'm just pasting the whole data here only only navigation portion i'm just copy and paste in here and then in blog i'm just uh, giving a method called this element that means the elements folder elements method and then here when you will give this element that means it will go in this element folder and then you have to give the name of your file that means if file name is nav.php so i'm just uh, giving a single code and put here nav dot only nav it's enough so after save if you just go and reload our page now you are seeing our uh, navigation and it's actually come from this element so same thing we can do for footer i'm just cut this and go in here and create in element a file called footer.php and then i'm just pasting the footer code in here and save it close it and in here same thing i'm doing i'm just copy this line and paste it in here and in this time it will be footer save it and go in your browser reload the page you should see the same thing that we have created so same thing you can do also for your uh, left side uh, left uh, sidebar uh, and also for content but uh, in this time you will just uh, create a, the navigation and the footer in our element and this actually come from our uh, home.php from this uh, this page so it's looking very fresh now so next see uh, let's see in next tutorial we will see how to fetch this content so welcome for the next tutorial in this tutorial the main uh, focus or uh, focus was uh, how to change default layout and apply our own layout so i think you understand this tutorial welcome for the next tutorial thank you